Hi, thanks so much for joining me. If you've been with me for the last couple weeks, you've noticed that I've been speaking a lot about what's going on astrologically with us right now. And part of that is because within the Tarot system, you have certain cards that represent specific planets and specific zodiac energies. And so it isn't really a surprise to me that they're showing up in the readings that we do daily because we are undergoing some really interesting times right now. And today is a day that isn't an exception to that. The first card that we have for today is the Sun card. The Sun is actually, by our perspective on Earth, moving into conjunction with Pluto. So we have our essential nature, which is real, like literally being transformed based on the experiences that we've all been going through this last year. How we see ourselves, how we show up in the world, is actually being transformed. And it's kind of going to a place of no looking back, um, but it's not in a bad sense. You know, like when we realize our life, and we realize ultimately what's underneath the surface, we can step into a new evolution of ourself and a new sense of ourself. We look at a flower and what it takes to actually bloom. It needs the sun. It needs the warmth and the length of light to actually bloom. And so we're all undergoing that process right now. And in this way, this, this shift and this change is really a, a big shift and change for everyone in the way of how we become and how we show up in the world. Uh, the second card that we have for today is the Page of Wands. This card is a, f a mutable fire energy and it brings in the energy of Jupiter, which the sun is also in conjunction with, along with Pluto and Saturn. It's kind of like a domino effect. If you look at the planets right now, they're really close in position, but they're not in exact conjunction. However, uh, this is bringing in the idea of like, we have to ascend, we have to climb higher from where we're at right now and see things from a bigger perspective and a bigger point of view. And from that, there is a grace and a help happening. So if you consider like if you're trekking up a mountain, everything that you see on your path that's immediately in your path can be all consuming for your attention. And yet when you get on top of that mountain, you have a realization and a sense of understanding because of everything that you've gone through and because of everything that you've triumphed over and worked through despite having no understanding of exactly what would come up. And so through that, we learn our sense of faith and we learn our sense of trust because it's through those circumstances and those challenges that we tap into something much higher sense, hence the Page of Wands. The third card that we have for today is the Hierophant. It's another uh, major arcana card in the Tarot system. It's a Taurus energy card and right now Uranus and Mars are both in Taurus. We have Mars approaching an exact conjunction with Taurus, which means that there's a lot of unexpected changes happening to outworn conditions in our lives. And they're not things that we can go back from either. It's bringing, Mars is bringing this fiery energy of self to it. So we're bringing, um, it's kind of like we're stepping into the kiln of our own evolution and our own becoming as far as how we deal with life and approach life. We've been conditioned in our society that if something bad happens, bad, right, bad happens to someone, that it's karma or it's some fated thing because of something that happened that they did in their life. When in reality, shit happens, friction happens to help us to grow. If you were to look out across the world and say, this whole continent of people is suffering because of bad karma, I'm gonna call bullshit on that, okay? Yes, I threw out the S word, ooh. Um, but seriously, like we go through things so we can grow. We overcome things so that we can have compassion for other people who also overcome things and support them while they're going through those challenges. And we're all about to step into a really big shift right now. And it's a matter of how do we rebuild the bridge after what we've always known crumbles? You know, it's like we've always had a certain path to a certain place and we've trusted and had faith that that path would always be there. And then one day the earth shifts, that pathway is, is destroyed and 
how do you rebuild afterwards? This card is uh, esoterically the nail or what connects one thing to another. So it mentions that, like how do we rebuild with the changes that are going on and how do we rebuild as a community and a society? So that is our in-depth tarot transmission for the coming week and the astrological energies. And if you have more questions about what's going on, go ahead and please reach out to me. All my videos are uploaded onto YouTube if for some reason you can't see them in length on Instagram. If you're interested in getting your own reading, you can get a hold of me at rootsofalchemy at gbl.com. And I also have some blogs and writings because I'm a herbalist, a nutritionist, an aromatherapist, and have a health investigator niche in my being along with my studies of esoteric systems. So if you need some help or assistance with anything, feel free to reach out. I send you so much love and a blessed week. Much love to you. I'll see you soon. Bye.